Hi guys, uh, you probably heard before we mention it, but the Moto Gadget uh, Moto Scope Pro wasn't playing real well with the BMW K1100 OEM uh, H2O sensor. It was reading about 20 degrees out. So I decided to do a bit of testing. Um, got my multimeter out just on ohms and took some uh, readings throughout the scales. I found when I got up to operating temperature around the 100 degrees, um, or actually 120, which is really 100, we're about 30 ohms out. So decided to head down to my electronics store. I got myself some 30 ohm 0.5 watt resistors, and I got some 10 ohm as well, just in case. I had to bank some up. And um, yeah, fired her up, got the, the old temperature gauge on it. Um, I put the 30 ohm in series with the, or between the OEM sensor and the uh, cable going up to the Motoscope Pro. Uh, it wasn't quite there, it was still about seven degrees out. So I ended up putting a 30 ohm and a 10 ohm in series, making 40 ohm of resistance. Uh, fired her up and it is working perfect. The thing is killer, it's dead on exact degrees. I'm not getting any more warning lights anymore saying I'm overheating when I'm actually not. Um, I'll show you virtually what I've done. So you can see there at the moment I've just tacked it up because I was testing. So I've got the, uh, you can see the, the 30 ohms hanging off the actual OEM sensor. And then I've got the 10 ohm in series with it back to the cable. So I reckon if uh, you get yourself a 40 ohm resistor, 0.5 watt I used, um, we'll put this socket all back together and take all this off. I'll lift the tank and just the cable, um, I think it was a black cable sort of just down under the tank here. I'll, uh, I'll disconnect that off the, the breakout box and I'll put the resistor in line with it before it gets to the pro, put a bit of heat shrink over and I reckon it's job done. So. I hope it helps people out because I've heard a few people are having the same issues with this 20 degree uh, difference. Um, yeah, to not have the warning lights and everything, it's going to be killer. So I've had a few questions uh, whether or not this will actually work all the way through the range, which myself I'm doubting because of the, um, the, the drop in the resistance, the increments became a lot smaller as it got hotter. So we'll give it a go and see. I'm virtually only worried about when it gets up to operating temperature, but we'll, uh, we'll see what the result is. So we're sitting at about 28 degrees at the moment. So we'll kick her over. Okay guys, so as expected, uh, full range, looked like it was about 20 degrees out the other way, but at the pointy end, which I care about, uh, operating temp at around 100 degrees when the fan's kicking in, 105 degrees, she's a working perfect. So I'll uh, rip the tank off now and fit up the uh, 40 ohm resistor I just got. And yeah, we'll uh, put her back together. So I've gone and got my 40 ohm resistor, which is 43 ohm was the uh, closest I could get, unless I went up to a one watt. I'm just gonna stick with the half watt, seeing as though that definitely worked. Uh, I've got these little heat shrink joiners that you've probably all seen with the solder in the middle. So I'm thinking the smallest one here will actually fit the resistor right in it it actually pushes in so i might just cut the other side of the tail off slide that all the way in slide my black cable from the h2o sensor into it i'll heat that up i'll put another little bit of black heat shrink over the whole lot and then this end here will go straight to the breakout box i'll get that all uh, soldered up and take a pick for you and uh yeah we'll give it another try
five minute job. Um, just slid the tank back, got everything in position. We'll give it another whirl. Make sure now it's under the tank, we've got no issues. Sorry about the noise, I've actually got a crack in one of my headers. Um, so she's sounding a bit crap at the moment, but we'll get that fixed very soon. Perfecto, pretty much within one degree, so I don't know, if you're concerned about low range, don't do it, but I don't see why you would be. I'm more concerned about when the bike's at temp, which is around the 100 degree mark, and this is working perfect. Go get yourself, well, in the end I used a 43 ohm resistor, but I'm sure a 40 ohm, 41, 42, somewhere around there, will get you by. Um, yeah, if it's been bugging you as much as me, it's a killer hack. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the next one.